beauties. So in today's video, I will be doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here. It is, why did you hear that like gasp? <laughs> I'm just so excited, I'm out of breath about it. I was trolling through Instagram last night and I came across this artist. Let me show you. And she is, her Instagram name is Makeup Fang, and she is an incredible artist. Like, she has the most gorgeous makeup, like, I've ever seen. And I came across this guy right here, and it's using colored liner. And I was really inspired by that. And I decided to do a kind of like dramatic, a little kind of cut crease with colored liner. I don't have pots of colored liner, so today I used a liquid lipstick, which is, I guess, a thing. I mean, I've seen tutorials where people use the liquid lipstick as liner before, so I decided to give it a shot. I was really surprised with how it turned out. And now I'm really excited because I have a couple of other liquid lipstick colors that I think would look so like awesome as liner. So it's very cool toned, which is very different for me. I usually use very warm colors on my eyes, but I'm really liking how it turned out. I think that the purple tones, especially the purple liner, really brings out the green in my eyes. So if you have green eyes, I think that this look would look really beautiful on you. In brown eyes too, I think brown would look really, really beautiful. So this look is obviously a little on the extra side, so it would be perfect for maybe going out, dates, um, if you have like a really like cool party to go to. I obviously live a very exciting life and will be wearing this while I clean the bathroom and watch Vampire Diaries. Yeah! Um, so if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so we're starting off with the eyebrows done. Of course, they'll be in the description box below. And I started off with one eye already done. So we're going to attempt to recreate it on the other side. Let's do this. So of course, we're starting off with a good old scotch tape trick. You know the deal. You're going to put that on the back of your hand and rip it off and get rid of some of that excess tackiness. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that tape and I'm gonna line it up with my lower lash line and angle that sort of towards the tail of my brow, but more of a obtuse angle instead of an acute angle. Ooh, wow, my high school teachers were right. I'm using math. Okay, so we're gonna go into the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm gonna take that color right there, Milk Chocolate, and I'm gonna take it on a e.l.f. Uh, crease brush, and I'm just going to start adding that to the crease. So for this look, we're attempting to do a little bit of a cut crease, so we're not gonna bring any of, this sh of these shades down on the lid, we're just keeping it above the crease, and we're gonna build that color up until we get it where we want it, and make sure to blend it upwards, to that brow bone to fade the color out. Now I'm gonna take these Morphe shadow, I'm gonna list the colors and names of it down below because I don't know off the top of my head, it's not on the back of the pan or anything. And I'm gonna take this angled Sonia Kashuk brush and I'm going to keep that more in the crease and not blend it up too far. And I'm just going to kind of carve out that crease a little bit. If you bring it onto the lid, don't worry, we can clean that up a little bit later. But just try to focus that color right in the crease. And then be sure to take your blending brush that you used before with that milk chocolate. No additional product needed, just buff it out. Now I'm going to take this uh, Urban Decay du Dual Ended brush. It came with a Naked 3 palette and that dark brown shade, and I'm going to really intensify that dark base of our cut crease. So I like to use the, like, almost, it's almost like a concealer brush, and just really, like, 
precisely apply that product right in the crease and then use the flip side of it to kind of buff it out a little bit. So we want it obviously fading from super dark up to really light. Now I'm gonna take this other Morphe shadow. It's like a really iridescent, <laughs> gotta take a breath, iridescent color and I sprayed some Fix Plus on this e.l.f. concealer brush. And this is where you can kind of carve out your, your cut crease and cover up any color that made it onto your lid. And then I just pick some product up on my finger and just re-intensify the lid color. Now I'm gonna go back in with that dual-ended Urban Decay brush. No additional product on the brush, but I'm just kind of going over the and re-darkening that crease, just making sure that none of the lid color transferred. And be sure to blend. Blend, blend, blend. Forever and ever blending. Now I'm gonna mix these two shades right here, and then I'm just going to apply that kind of like on the outer little corner, like the outer V, and just really slowly pat that color and build it up. I want it to kind of fade into the really bright lid color. Now I'm gonna take this clean Sigma E35 and just go over the edges just to blend out that first color. And then we're gonna apply this uh, white chocolate shade on the brow bone. Okay, now it's time for the liner. So what I'm gonna do is take ColourPop's Koala Ultra Matte Lip, or lip color, yeah, and, wow, stutter. And I'm gonna take this Mikasa E100 brush, which is a really awesome, just like angled liner brush. And I'm gonna pick up that color on the brush. Just make sure that both sides are covered. Take a deep breath, because wing liner can sense your fear. And then I'm going to slowly start applying that like I normally would with any sort of gel eyeliner. With gel eyeliner or just applying a wing liner with a brush, I always try to start off really thin. That way if I need to make it thicker, it won't look like I've completely covered my whole eyelid space. And we're keeping the tape on as a guide to make sure that we have a nice crisp line. Now it's time for the big reveal. Slowly. <sighs> we did it. Very nice, do a little dance, we did it. Now just to soften up how intense that shadow was, I just take a Q-tip, a dry Q-tip, and just kind of smudge over the edges just a little bit to kind of help blend that out. Oh, I realized I wasn't wearing earrings, so if you wanna see where I got them, I'll put a link in the description box below. Now onto the face, I'm gonna use Revlon's Color Stay in Shell Beige and my Beauty Blender and just apply this foundation all over my face. Like you do when you apply foundation. Now for concealer, I'm using this Ivory Into You Concealing and Highlighting Pen by Wet n Wild. And I'm going to use this to sharpen up the edge of the of the winged liner. This is a really good trick if you're just doing regular black wing liner and you feel like the line isn't crisp enough, you can use your concealer to just sharpen up that line. And then blend it out with that beauty blender as per usual. And I'm not adding any extra product on the center of my face, I'm just blending out whatever is left on my beauty blender just to highlight the rest of my face. Now I'm gonna take my favorite translucent powder, of course the NYC Smooth Skin Translucent Powder to set my under eye concealer with my beauty blender. Now to put on the lower lash line color, I went back in with that dark brown color. I also lined my waterline with uh, the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Perversion Pencil, my favorite black liner for the waterline. 
And I'm using this e.l.f. like definer shadow brush just to really pack that color close to the lash line. And then we're taking that second shade that we used for our eyeshadow and I'm just smudging that color out. So first I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild contouring palette in Caramel Toffee and my e.l.f. Uh, complexion brush and I'm just gonna kinda contour slash bronze the face. Don't forget to bring that up on the hairline just to even out the color and then bring it down on the neck as well. Now I'm gonna take a e.l.f. blush brush and that highlighting powder and just kind of use that to brighten up my under eyes. My concealer is already set. This is a really great powder for setting your concealer, but I just wanted to add a little bit of brightness. Now for contour, I'm gonna use the Bahama Mama bronzer and my Sephora angled brush and just add that to my contouring areas. Ooh, get that hair out of the face. So I'm just putting that right at the base of where I want my contour, kind of buffing it and applying the product. And you can see it's a really harsh line, so I'm gonna go in with my bronzer brush, the Elf Complexion brush, and just buff over that, just to blend it out. And then I'm gonna use this to also add a little bit of color to my nose. You know how I feel about adding bronzer to my nose. It just makes me feel, makes me feel some type of way. And also applying a little bit of that color underneath my lower lip. This just gives the illusion that your lower lip is fuller. Now I'm gonna use the Sephora Ombre Obsession Blush Palette. This blush palette is awesome. And I decided to use kind of this matte dusty pink color plus this like lavender shimmer shade. I mix those two together with this Sephora Duo Fiber Brush. These blushes are very, very pigmented. So make sure to tap off the excess so you don't look like a clown. And I'm just gonna apply that to the like backs of my cheeks, like not so much on the full apples, but kind of blending it into that contour and applying it to my cheeks, my cheeks. And I'm gonna use this center highlight shade with my J-Cat fan brush. I'm giving my Real Technique setting brush a day off since I've been using that like every single day. Now this highlight is intense. It is like a pearl white shade. It's like blinding. Ooh, baby. Of course, I'm gonna add that to my nose as well as my Cupid's bow. Now I'm going to line my lips with this Rimmel Spice Lip Liner. And then I'm gonna take this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in WeHo. This is a cream formula and it is super pigmented. And that completes this makeup tutorial, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you recreate this look, please tag me on Instagram or Twitter. I will leave those in the description box below. I will also leave everything that I used and mentioned, of course. I hope to see you beauties on my next video. Bye. Her YouTube, not her YouTube. Mm. I've seen people use uh, liquid lipstick while well, stutter. So it's general. I don't know. I don't know what to say. So this look is actually... What? 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 What